Hi, Dan here, and here's another quick tip on goal kicking. Before moving in to kick the ball, try using imagery. This means playing a movie in your head of kicking, with the ball sailing through the posts. Goal kicking can be complicated, but you can make it easier by breaking it down to bite-sized pieces. And remember, practice, practice, practice makes perfect. Morena tamariki maa ko noa toku ingoa, no mai haere mai ki Small Blacks TV. Yes, it is Te Wiki o Te Reo Māori Language Week, and our guest in the locker room today is Māori All Black and Chiefs Waikope hooker, Pika Elliott. Yes! Welcome to the locker room, mate. Have a seat. How's it going, man? Whoa, whoa! What happened to your eye? Funny story, mate. You know, me and Brody Retallick, we were defending our line, tried to make a tackle and we ended up tackling each other, so... This is the result. Now your eye is pango, black. <laughs> so you're fluent in te reo. That's correct. How did you learn the language? Oh, well, I started off at um, Kohanga Reo, uh, which is a Māori version of kindergarten. Then I went on to Kurukopapas, which is a total immersion uh, Māori school, and everything we taught and taught about in Māori. So yeah, that's where I started. And you're also in the Māori All Blacks. Do you, you know, call your moves in te reo? Yeah, I think that's a big part of our team, um, being Māori and, and trying to be true to our heritage, um, and that's all part of it. So, yeah, it, it sort of gets the opposition, you know, unaware, so it's, it's pretty good. Well, we've got one of your Māori All Black teammates coming up, Richard Kahui. Welcome to Cuxverse Kids, the toughest rugby course in the world. It will take skill, speed, strength, courage, and just a little bit of luck to take down Rugby Let's World go. Cup winning champion Richard Kutzkahu. Who is a contender and who is a pretender? Let's meet the challenges. Meet Joseph in red. He's 11. Find him on the wing, and his favourite AB is our man DC. In yellow is another Joseph, who's also 11, but his favourite AB is the big bus, Julian Sardia. Ali will round us off in blue. She's in the front row hooker, but she's going up against her favourite All Black, Richard Kutzkahu. Joseph, mate, what do you think is going to be the hardest thing and why? The net, because you have to crawl underneath it. And Ali, who's going to be the hardest person to beat? I think Richie. How come? Because he's an All Black. Well, you're a small black, so good luck with that. Joey, what's your game plan? Fast and furious. Nice and simple. Cax, your thoughts? Oh, I'm just a little bit nervous. Hey? Uh, no, no, no need to be nervous. <laughs> I'm going to be your coach. I've been sure. studying all the coaching manuals. I hear there's a gap in the AB's coaching panel. So I'm going to get you to put in a good word for me. I'm going to prove what? it because I'm going to coach you to beat this race. Even though you're fat, stupid, useless, and Stop you've got a bad feeling. No, that's how I do well, it. Take it away, ref. It's up to you now. On your marks. Dead set. Don't choke. So a potential career Let's change for our run. ref. Watch it! Protect the shoulder! Don't damage it! It's like candy floss! Oh, they're quick! Ellie leads us into the defender. Let's see if our ref Greg can coach cuts to a win in today's race. Over, under, they're all over the place. Oh, what's this? Ellie has dropped her ball and we'll have to go back to the start. Tragedy for the young hooker. Yes. An expert bit of coaching from the referee, Cux looking good. Lefty Lucy, righty tidy. Cux offering a little bit of advice to our small blacks. Really, it'd be much better with your other hand. You've got to be tighter than that. Come on. Uh, tight, Here comes tight. Ali for getting that ball. Has cost her valuable time. And she's playing catch up now. Joey finishes the studs first. He will be hard to beat from here. You're overthinking it. You two go, 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 go. Boom! Kieran Reid would be proud of that tackle. Yeah, no, no, Joey stop, hits stop, the stop, 10 press-ups and crunch it. Oh, yeah, it's like this. Oh, no. ah! It's a... Uh, uh, interesting tackle technique. Boys and girls, do not attempt that at home. Or in a game. Sorry. Joey has led this race from the start and he hits the noodles and the home straight. Let's check out the technique. Ball in two hands. 
planting the feet and swerving the hips, <laughs> just like his favourite player, Julian Sabir. Oh, come on, there we go. That's it. More like that. That's better. That's more like that. And just like any good flanker, Joey used his power and speed to take out this epic race. Well, I think it's fair to say our ref should stick to riffing. You're out of the team! Well, the ref failing miserably as a kayako. Hika, you would have had a few teachers in your time. How about teaching us the haka? Definitely, mate. Well, we'll start off. You've got to have a strong, strong base. Yep. So we're here, hope it. Hope it. Hope it. And then you've got a strong tucker here. Yep. Make sure that your chest is out. Boom, check out and your chest. And your actions are nice and strong. OK, so we've got boom. Yeah, that's right. Yep, look at that and the one. the other side. Yes. While I learn more about haka, you watch Small Blacks on tour. There we go, got the woody going. How's my woody? Awesome. I feel the need. The need for speed, like my good friend Corey James. Yep, Corey's got wheels all right. Corey lives just around the corner in Upper Hutt, but we're not here to see CJ. Nope, we're here to see 10-year-old Josh Donahue, and he's got wheels too. Check it. Yes, that's right. Apart from being a Hutt Valley rugby rep, Josh is also a junior kart sport champion. So, Josh, what position do you play? Uh, today I played second five, but um, I can also play hooker and centre. How do you think you went out there today? Um, our first half was pretty good, but our second half's defence was a bit slack and the score was 41-22 to us. What's harder out of a rugby game and a kart race? Um, probably a kart race because it's an individual sport, but with rugby you can rely on the whole team. So I got to thinking. Noah likes rugby, and Noah likes cars. So Noah's going to spend a day with his new bestie. Hey guys, how do I look? So, talk us through this cart. Well, this is Josh's 100cc Yamaha cart. Uh, this is a Tony cart, chassis built in Italy. Josh, you can't drive this. Look, your tyres are bald. No, that's how we have them. That's what makes them all sticky. Oh, really? Yeah. Sticky? They are sticky. <laughs> so, Josh, anything else I need to know? Yep. That's to make you go and that's to make you woe. Here we go, folks. Check out the styles. This is way better than the cart I had when I was a small black. For a start, it's got wheels. It's harder than I make it look. And because I'm so low to the ground, it feels like I'm going really fast. So Josh, how long have you been racing? Um, I've been driving since I was five, but racing competitively since I was six. And why did you get into kart sport? Because um, my dad used to race when we were little. What do you enjoy most about it? Um, just the good hard races you can have. Have you ever crashed? Yeah, I had a big one last year when I um, rolled my car. What happened? Um, this guy wouldn't get out of my way. What's the hardest thing about racing? Um, they, well, passing people and just um, going really fast. Do you get more nervous before a big rugby game or a big race? Uh, a big race because um, you can, you've got a lot on your mind and you just got to concentrate. Is it harder to break through tackles or make your way around the cuts? Um, probably a lot harder to break through tackles because they don't give it up easy. Even though Josh is only 10, he races 12-year-olds and does pretty well. He was the Wellington Rookie of the Year in 2010 and club champion for his age last year. He races all over New Zealand and hopes to one day race all over the world going over 350 kilometres an hour in Formula One cars and earning millions of dollars. Josh, thanks a lot for showing me around. Thanks for coming out. Had a lot of fun, Small Blacks. We'll see you next time. No mai hoki mai ano tamariki ma. Our manuhiri in the locker room today is Māori All Black and Chiefs Waikope, Hika Elliott. You brought your raku-raku along? 
I did, mate. This is my trusty old friend, so it's good to, good to have it here today. So you're always playing the jams for the Chiefs? Well, I try to. Um, Dave Rennie's a bit of a gun on the guitar, so uh, most of the time he takes over, but I, tr I, I give it a good go. So you're the guitar player. Who are the singers? Um, Brody Retallick's a pretty good singer. Uh, Nick Croswell. But I'd, I'd, I'd probably say that Brody Retallick should be on X Factor. So, yeah. Wow. I'm a pretty good singer myself, mate. You know how to play hide and I? I do, I do. How about Strum we give away, it a go? Mate. So why it's for the kids, especially for you out there. Hika Elliott and Nuofi now from the locker room. Coming at you. Toru. Fa. Hide and mine. Everything is kapai, you're here at last. And you're it's a remix, Small Black's last. News, I'm gonna keep on singing. I am I, everything is kapai. I am a cool and funny guy. I am an awesome rugby player and can pass to my left. Hmm? Just doing some positive thinking. What? Now. <clears throat> oh, hello, and welcome to Small Black's News. On this day in 2010, All Black Liam Messer set a land speed record for eating one dry wheat bix. His time was 47 seconds and is still the team record. Really? Is that it? 47 seconds? I can beat that. And check this out. Start the clock. He's doing what? Eating a wheat pick. Okay, cure it up. Hello, good folks, and welcome to the streets. I'm your roving reporter, Conrad Smith, and today we're going to find out what people know about this place, Otago. What provincial rugby jersey am I wearing? Uh, Otago. 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 The big O uh, for Otago. Otago. There we go. What is special about Otago's new stadium? Uh, it's got a roof on it. It's got a roof on it. <laughs> Beautiful. No idea. Where is Otago? <laughs> <laughs> wow. What is special about Dunedin's Baldwin Street? Oh, it's where they set their couches on fire and stuff, isn't it? <laughs> Steep 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 no idea. Dunedin, translated in Scottish, is Edinburgh. True or false? I go true. It's correct. False. It's actually true. Is it? <laughs> what's that, mate? You want another one? Maybe finish what's in your mouth first. That's our show. Stay on side, Otago. So, Hika, what's the best Fakatoki you know? I think a, a good one is Nā Tōrauru, Me Tākūrauru, Kaora Te Iwi. That means with your food basket and my food basket, our tribe will survive. Great words. Richie always has great words too. Check it out. So Richie, how many hours a week should I train for? Um, I don't know whether there's a specific exact amount. Like, you know, obviously you have training once a week with a team, but you know, just doing a little bit every now and again, uh, like, I used to didn't think of it as training, but just chasing the ball around, running around outside uh, for half an hour, a couple of times a week, you know, to me that's, uh, that's good for your rugby. And maybe if you went for a bit of a run for 20 minutes or something uh, once or twice a week, it's, it's better than doing nothing. So that's the way I, I sort of looked at it. And, uh, but I didn't see it as training, I just saw it as having fun. Have you even read the rule book, Ref? Where do they get these guys from? Has this guy even played before? Hey, hey, hey. Give me a break. This is hard work. How about being a bit more positive and having some fun? 
I suppose we're a little harsh. Fun, you reckon? Well, we could give it a go. OK, we're in. That's what I'm talking about. Game back on. Applaud. Turn down your volume and turn up the applause. Kia ora pōnua o pango. Small blacks in te reo. Hey, you're fluent in the reo. That's pretty mean. You're pretty good for a tonga, mate. Let's see how good you are. What's the motor word for this? Poro. Tūru. Pahikara. Tora. And kapa o pango. <laughs> Man, I love my games. Speaking of games, anyone for a quiz show? It's a rugged quiz, Tom. Yes, it is. Roll the tape. Ladies, gentlemen, and mountain men, strap yourselves in because we have a big show for you today. With the biggest star in the business, the one, the only, Pat Luxon. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Rugger Quiz. It's fabulous for me to be here tonight, but it's not always about the Clark stuff. Let's meet the team! Clark, on the smelly side are the deadbeat layabouts from Green and Me. And on the side of all things good and delightful, Yellow Belly. Guys, what's with Barry's new hairstyle? He looks even more silly than usual. In an evil way, of course. That's the intros done! Let's get it gone! All right, question number one. Uh, Clark, before we continue, I would like to warn you that anything you say and do may and will be used against you. Uh, what's going on? You guys said no lawyers if I paid up. Yeah, but he doesn't know. He doesn't know. OK, that's good. All right. Well, OK, moving on. I'll take that on board, Barry. Thank you very much. Question one. How many points is a try worth? Alice, yellow bellies. A try is worth five points. I should know. I score enough of them. Alice, that is correct. And Barry, green and me. I object, Clark. To what? A try, pray, in historical reference, may be worth one point in 1891, two points in 1894, three in 1970, four in 1991, or five. How can we be possibly expected to answer such an ambiguous question? He has? Right up. <laughs> it seems Barry has a point. That question has now been struck from proceedings. What? That's not fair. It's not about what's fair, Rugger. It's about what you can prove. Clark, this is ridiculous. Who's making the rules here? You or Barry? Alice, my dear, I'm not 100% sure anymore, but we'll truck on if that's all right with Barry. Proceed. It's out to Leo Teaser. What is the Maldi word for point? With yellow bellies. Mr Clarkson, I think the answer is Heiner. Come on, that's the answer I've got written there. In John versus Honey, 1872, Honey, representing himself, successfully defended the point in question, which is that noun extensionalities do not provide to the verb when circumventing the translation in respect to local law. Is this a game or an inquisition? He's Barry, not a Barry Stir. I object. I object to your objection. Overruled. Moving right along. You know what time it is. Barry, green and me. Okay, let me rephrase that. It is now time for Who Am I? Barry, green and me. Uh, which isn't to say Who Am I, the answer being Clark Clarkson. Barry, green and me. Or someone of that nature pretending to be Clark Clarkson. Oh, for goodness sake, just roll the video. I need to lie down. I was born in 1988 and went to Parkvale Primary School. I have five brothers and sisters, and my favourite subject at school was PE. Rugger, is Barry going to send us to jail if we answer? No, Webb. Barry can't object to this question. We will win it here. 
I first played rugby when I was eight years old, and now I'm fullback for the Crusaders. Who am I? Webb, yellow bellies. Mr. Clarkson, I think that he is Israel Dag. If you guessed Israel Dag, then you're all right. Barry, green and mean. What now? That was so Israel Dag. Prove it. I give up. I'd rather pay the fine. Kids, take a look at next week's What Am I? If you know the answer, then text it through to 488 and you can win this great rugby ball. I'm Clark Clarkson. I'll see you all again next week. <laughs> Tiraku, I love this game. Māori's heavy, it's a great game. Well, here's another game you can play with your kapa after Watina. Kapa o pango pūkenga, all black skills. Hi guys, I'm Luke Romano, and today I'm going to show you a game that will have you running like either a rat or a rabbit. It's called Rats and Rabbits. Running hard is important because you can make more tackles and support more, and that means you will get to score more tries like this. Lips it over the top for Reed. Jane is there. Reed ignored him, but he gave it to Nonu. Pass up to Reed. Now Whitelock puts his foot down. Close there. Rats and rabbits, you'll need eight players and a referee. So this is a cool game to play at practice or even when you're warming up for a game. You can make the field as big as you want, and it depends on how much running you want to do. Partner up and stand in two lines side by side. Mark out two try lines about 10 metres from each other. One side will be known as the rats and the other side will be known as the rabbits. Check out how the pros do it. Everybody puts their hands on their heads and has one foot touching the foot of their partner next to them and listen for the ref's call. If the ref calls out rats, the rats must run to their try line before the rabbits can tag them on the hips. If you make it to your try line without being tagged, you're safe. Rabbit. If you manage to tag your partner before they reach the try line, then the tagger gets a point. <laughs> when you want to switch it up, try skipping, hopping or jumping to your try line. That's all for now, so have fun playing with your mates. And you can make a lot of friends and improve all your rugby skills by signing up for All Blacks Camp for Kids. Check it out at abcforkids.co.nz. Hey, mihi ki tō tātou manuhiri, kia hika Elliot, waikape o ngā Chiefs, Eno hora tamariki ma, kākite ano, atera wiki. See you later, small blacks. Well, I'm good in the reel. We'll see how good you are in Tongan. What is that? Ball. In Tongan? Ball. Well, in Māori, it's poro. In Tongan, it's poro. Poro. Just like that. What am I in Tongan? Poro. Maalahi. <laughs> that means skaks. And it's my favourite. <laughs> Mm. And hot. Nice work, Tommy. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.